welcome back to my channel like will share Rochelle thanks so much for joining me today so I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I'm going to be doing I'm so so behind on it but you know I gotta start it at some point and so today is that day I am going to be memory keeping in my really really big memory keeping scrapbooking journal album whatever you want to call it all of 2020 and with this being such a pivotal year in history um for the world for that matter and i thought about doing this well before anything that we're going through started i just you know felt like you know it's may it's almost halfway through the year and i haven't even put anything in it um i've been intentionally taking pictures definitely more so than i usually do but i never i probably printed one set of pictures off and that was all of january and the first couple of days of february so what i'm going to be doing today is just starting with january yes i am so far behind it's crazy but i'm only like going to be like recording and taking entering photos for memories that are you know very very um brilliant and bright and um definitive moments which means that i even this far you know out i still have things about them that i need to write down and i can still make sure that i'm recording for them so when i initially ordered this on amazon i thought it was one of those photo albums that had the um, acetate with the sticky backs that you pull the acetate up on and you stick the pictures down on and then close it back across it is absolutely not but I'm so happy that it's not and I feel like it's, it's really just paper y'all it's like a I don't even know it's not cardstock it's a little thicker than regular paper but I love it I really love it I feel like it's gonna give me so much flexibility to do so much more and it's as you can see, it has a ton of pages. I already threw away the wrapping for it. So I don't actually know how many sheets was in it. But um, if you can see this here, there are quite a few sheets. Front and back is useful. I plan to use front and back. And I'm just super excited to fill these up. Um, so these are some craft papers that I have taken out of um, different places that I had that I plan on trying to incorporate somehow. I really love them. I think that these craft pages are really pretty. I had this album that I um, that I got craft pages in. Uh, for uh, Most of these came out of it and I got that from Michaels. They always have some really good sales on their craft pages. And so I want to get some more especially considering what I'm doing with them right now. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna incorporate them, but they're definitely getting incorporated. And then I also have these stickers. This, probably not this uh, for January, but I'm gonna definitely be using that for February because my son played basketball um, the first quarter of the year. These will, to a certain extent, all get used. And these are like the, um, the cardboard die cuts from um Mambi happy planner i got them from out of michael's i believe and this came in i believe either the january or february sub box for simply gilded and it is perfect i love it it was i think this was like the surprise that they had in there um and it's, it was all of course being held together by this twine um it was like supposed to be for a flip over but i'm taking it apart and i'm going to use this to like um notate hey this is the start of this month i just think that it's pretty and it'll help me set my overall theme which i'm going to be doing cool tones and new tones um in here for the most part so i guess to go ahead and get started i will go ahead and get these two put down so this is going to be here for 2020 and this is going to be in on the first sheet for January. And then I'll put the rest of the 
things to the side. Also have my pictures here, which I have also already went through and categorized. I have um, a piece of paper before each date that there's a picture for in here uh, to be able to make sure that I have that all secured as well. All right, so I have my glue sticks and I don't know if it's gonna be a better idea for me to use the glue sticks or for me to use my actual runner. All right, so now this I'm going to go ahead and put here like that. Let's see if it works for, for this. And I don't plan on putting everything down in one setting here, um, but this will at least be a start for me on it because I feel like if I just keep putting it off, I'm never gonna start. So for January, this was New Year's day night-ish kind of a thing. And let's see, what can I, <coughs> I might have to just put this down. We didn't have all our kids. It was um, not our week to have all of our children children on um, the, the week that New Year's Eve and New Year's Day fell on. And so that's why all of them are not in this picture. We didn't have everybody. But now that all my kids have iPhones, I can do something different that I hadn't done previously. Like if there is something that's like a memorable moment, like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, whatever, and I'm taking pictures and you know, everybody's not present, I can, I can do like a, a FaceTime call and like take a picture, like a screenshot of everybody, you know, that way at least everybody is still captured. Maybe like that. I think I'm going to try to find some big stickers, um, big letter and number stickers and put the actual date that it was in here, like somewhere. And then um, I'm gonna like either write directly on it or uh, put a piece of paper to write on in here and put that down also. So I'm going to find some big stickers and put the dates the first and then i'll i will write under that new year's day and then here i'm going to oh no okay i'm just gonna put the date right here and then here i'm gonna put new year's day or vice versa whatever and then i'm gonna write whatever i'm gonna write right there so i'll do that um uh, give me a moment. Let me go get my corn around so I can at least tack everything down. But I do want to go ahead and round these corners because these pictures are kind of big. So we'll do that. I use this corner rounder so much. I just feel like I should get a second one, another one, because I just feel that it ain't going to be long before it gives out and fails me that's gonna be a sad sad day <laughs> am i the only one who does that do y'all like you know for certain things that you have like want to have a backup just in case something happens to it all right let's go ahead and do these down now with this i will use the runner because just because I will keep this in here, right there, so that I know that's what day this was. I mean, obviously I do know that that was the first, but I'll keep that right there. Then we go on to the next day and the next thing, which was on the 9th. And one of my kids had, which I had, my pictures were terrible for this. I'm super annoyed that they were. Um, one of my kids, little Rodney, had a, um, is it called a recital? A recital. He played the saxophone last year in school and um, in music that he took. And they had a little recital and I was like not able to capture any good pictures because of where he was versus where I was. I don't need all, all these extra folks in here. 
All right, I like this. I like the fact that there's not so many people in here. Faces that is unnecessary. Okay, so cut that one down, cut that down. Smooth this trash out of the way. When they walked off the stage from playing, they made them go directly to the back. And so we didn't even have an opportunity to stop and take pictures of them or with them, except for with them walking, like you could see in this picture. Yeah, if they don't even end up having like in class or in school next year, then he won't be able to do music. I don't know if he actually intends to take it or not either. Like I'm gonna have to check with him on that. I don't know if this is in frame. I got so much going on on this desk. Okay. So this was on the 9th. I think I can just stick this like this. Where's my tape runner? And like I said, I am just gonna be doing what I can, and then I will I will continue to take you along with me as I continue to to update the memory keeper with all that I need to, but um, with you know to make sure everything is complete and looking nice. My, I need you to go ahead and take your sugar with your meter, okay? All right. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so that's for the 9th. Okay, and the next date that anything happened on was the 11th. And also something that I've noticed is that majority of the time I am behind the camera. And so there, I have to like sometimes like be very mindful of that and uh, make sure that, that I'm not forgetting the include myself to ask somebody to take a picture of me or when it's our family ask somebody to take a picture of our family so to, this was the 11th of january and um we have uh, our couple friends and we they had a birthday party that we went to and it was super fun super duper fun and so this is what these are from look at my husband looking silly yeah put somebody's hat on his head uh, food and dancing and just gathering together it was awesome so I'm gonna cut out the accent the excess on these pictures because it's just I just <clears throat> I need to make them smaller and so let's round the corners on these You really have to take your time with these corner rounders because if you do not, then you are going to have a really jacked up looking corner. It like, it'll chew it up and it won't be nicely formed in any way. Make it sure that it's pressed all the way in there. And then like, you can't go back and try to fix it. You have to cut it and lose some of your picture when you do that. And something else that I really want to do that I think I'm going to actually now take the time and start doing is putting like some borders around it with some of the craft paper. I'm trying to figure out how it was that I wanted to incorporate the craft paper and I think that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use it for borders behind the, um, the pictures. These are the pictures. Me and my hubs and the birthday guy and um, his wife. Our friends. I do want this in the middle. 
I don't know if I'm going to use both of these pictures or not. I'm trying to keep this to one page. Okay. I think that's how I'm going to do that. The way I want it, like I said, I would love to do some borders around the backs of these pictures, but the way my um, patience is set up right now, I, I don't think I'm going to have the um, patience to do that. Mm -mm. Not right now. Where's your meter? Where's your meter? Bring it to me. No, bring it down here, honey. And your bag. I'll put what it was, the date, and my journaling moment in the in this part right here. Bring me your meter, please. This is where I could probably start incorporating some of these stickers that I have here. So the thing is, I don't know if I want to wait until after I have figured out if I'm going to write directly on it to put the stickers or what. Yeah, I'm gonna wait to put down the, the sticker um, little chips because I don't wanna put it down and then that's where on the opposite side of the page I write for a date, that'll be a problem. All right, so the next date was just the 13th. It was, um, my daughter takes one of these pictures like every time she goes to CHKD Hospital for her diabetes checkup. Um, it was the endocrinologist, and so this is the most recent one. And I figured that since she takes them every quarter <laughs> or something like that, I just start putting those in here too. And we can have a journal moment in here about her journey also. So we'll do that. And um, I think that that's probably a good place to stick those, just like that. All right, so that was the 13th. Then I have the 19th where I went to go, me and my sister drove down to go and visit our other sister who lives in another city, in another state, um, after she had a, a near-death experience um, in a car accident. And so we wanted to be there for her. And these were just the pictures from that, which I am gonna actually take multiple because this was like, there. I do wanna put all these pictures in here. 
we had a ball totally totally in love every moment that we are able to spend together um even though they're few and far in between sometimes even if we're not like together we, we talk to each other um as if we never miss a second of time being together Y'all, I'm trying my best to work these um, craft pages in somehow, but it is not, <laughs> it's not working for me. It is not working for me. <clears throat> so, um, once again, let's just get these corners together. When we were out there, um, we only stayed overnight. We left the next evening. Um, it's about a five hour travel distance from where I live to where my sister lives. And so we didn't stay very long because it was like, it was a spur of the moment trip. But we went, uh, we got there super late at night. It was like 12 o'clock. We stayed up and talked and, um, just caught up and laughed and enjoyed each other's company for a couple of hours when we did get there initially. And then we um, we went to bed. We got up in the morning and we went to my, we went to my sister to her church and uh, enjoyed morning worship service there. Um, then we went to the downtown area and we um, had brunch, I guess you would call it. And after we had brunch, we went to this park where all of us tried our hand at riding these scooters. And we enjoyed that also. It was fun. I was super scared. Super, super afraid about uh, riding the sco scooters because number one, my balance is horrible. Number two, I can't ride a non-motorized scooter. Talk about riding one with a motor in it. Um, but we made it <laughs> and all of us, all of us had a turn riding it, riding, yeah, riding it. Um, it was fun. It was in a big circle um, in like a little park area. And so it wasn't like <laughs> we had to avoid people and anything. I don't see how folk ride them on the street. That is not something that I would ever set myself up a failure doing. But um, but it was fun for what it was. And uh, we just took, some pic took pictures in this little um, park area and um, took a picture of the, the view, which was this one right here um, from where we were, walked in the area a bit and from there we uh went back to well we went to we stopped at starbucks got us some starbucks and went back to her house and got our stuff together and talked a bit more and then we said our goodbyes and headed on back home Changing out the, uh, well, emptying rather, I should say. Maya, didn't I tell you to bring me your meter?
Where is your phone? Alright, so that is these. Y'all, somehow, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, y'all, give me a second. I'm trying to get my daughter's um, shot. Take 10, please. Uh, get her together so she can know what she needs to take as far as the insulin come in here come in here and do it thank you ma'am okay back to this okay so i got oh didn't have them all cut i missed the whole corner right here so we were all looking a mess the night we actually got there so i didn't put any of those pictures in here but i did go ahead and stick these in for the next day so these were the restaurant pictures and this one. These are all the park pictures. All right. Maybe I just want to do one over here. Nope. I'm going to do... I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like this because my idea behind this is I want to... I think I'm going to put... I'm going to put something going... Like letters going down right here. And then I'll be able to write all around there. So I'll do that. Where are you taking it? Huh? Um, can you take it in another place? Is that where you took it earlier? Where did you take it earlier? Okay, go ahead, yeah. One on this page. Okay, so those three, and then I'm gonna use these two pages also. How can I do this? I think I'm gonna do it like this. That's super cute. And I wanna write something there, I do know that. So, huh. You know what? I think I'm going to put this one on a page by itself and then I'll put these two here like this. Oop, that's not going to fit, is it? I think I'm going to do that. I'll put these two on a page by itself and these two on a page by itself. Okay. 
And this, by the way, was in Charlotte. So this is gonna be easier to glue down. So let's just glue this down first. Try not to press so hard that I um, create a groove on the picture. But it seems to be happening. All right. Um, So that's the first one. I don't think I did that straight at all. But that's okay. And this is the last one. All right, now. And I think I'm going to stop right here and I will do the rest of my um, setup on another day. I'm going to come back and film more. I don't know how many, um, I don't know how many days it's going to take for me to finish this, <laughs> but I want to get through it because I really want to make sure that I am capturing all of these important memories. I gotta ask my sister where in Charlotte this is so that I can um, write that down. I'm gonna put Charlotte, but I thought I had already cut this. Those are down. And then the last ones that I wanted to uh, put down were these. And I'll stick these right here. And then I'll write over here. I don't understand why my. my me and Shani's didn't take any car pictures. Usually when we go places together, we always take a picture in the car. Like our travel moment pictures. I don't know how that happened. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got so far. We got the first, then we have the ninth, and we have the 11th, the 13th, and the 19th, is that the 19th? The 19th. All right, it's coming along. It is coming along. Okay, guys, so definitely stick with me as I continue on with getting this all set up and um, filled up. I'm only on January, I'm not even halfway through. I still have to put all of these pictures in here, or at least some of them, and decorate. It's like four more occasions that I have in here that I haven't accounted for. And so I do have to get all of those in. So stick around, stay with me. Um, I will try to update um, it again sometime later this week. I should have enough time to do another update on it. And um, I love how it's coming along so far. I can't wait to start actually putting my little decorative elements in it. But I think that putting the pictures down is a good move. Just putting the pictures down first. Let's get the hardest part out of the way. And then we can just kind of figure out how everything else can work with it. All right. 
All right, tell me if you like this video. If this is if this is a kind of video you enjoy seeing on my channel. Do you do any memory keeping? If you do, what kind of album or uh, planner or whatever the case it is, what do you use to complete your memory keeping? And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next video and talk to you in the comments below. Bye.